Hi, Jerry Sell here with the Vengeance Division of Forest River, and this video highlights the features of the Rogue Armored 371A13 Luxury Toy Hauler. The Rogue Armored Division of Vengeance is our luxury toy hauler division with high-end construction like aluminum frame, vacuum bonded sidewalls, and uh, higher amenities throughout. The 371 is built on the PowerMax chassis system. So this is important because the PowerMax chassis system gives you the wide body stance and it also gives extra storage. Looking at the very front area here, you'll notice that you have a cabinet door above or a luggage door above and then luggage doors below. And this has to do with uh, extra storage space and extra battery space. So as I come under here, the first thing I'm gonna do is open this up and you'll notice that with the Z-frame chassis that we've uh, put on this uh, chassis system, what it does is it frees up and gives you basically 50% more storage than the standard toy hauler fifth wheel. <clears throat> so by dropping this down, one of the things we were able to do is give you a real big battery compartment. Toy haulers are designed to go out in the middle of nowhere and be self-sufficient. So one of the things we wanna make sure you have is ample supply of battery space. So now if you want to uh, load up on solar panels, load up on batteries, you have that opportunity. This space will hold up to eight batteries. <clears throat> Next to it is our generator compartment. Uh, the 371 here has the uh, NPS 5500, that's a 5500 watt generator. Um, NPS powered by Yamaha. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about it here on the video. I'm gonna invite you to see this separate video that we have just on the features of this fantastic generator. As we move along the door side of the trailer, the first thing you're gonna notice is the propane door. Um, what we do is, uh, it's called saddlebag construction. That means you've got one 30 pound tank on this side and we have one 30 pound tank on the other side. They still have an automatic changeover. Um, with the 30 pound tanks, that gives you a little extra uh, propane to extend your camping season. The next door is the side entrance to our PowerMax storage. And a couple of things just to point out here is one, you'll notice we have tie downs. The space is so big that you could put a lot of stuff in here and we wanna make sure you can tie it down, it doesn't move around. But one of the things I do wanna point out that sets us apart is when we designed these products, we tried to make them as functional and practical as possible. So one of the things that we've done differently that you will notice on our product and generally not on other fifth wheels is instead of having the solid wall here in the storage compartment, what we've done is we've given you these flex panels. And the reason for that is we wanna be able to give whoever owns this camper the ability to get in and work on something that might be behind here so you don't have to tear walls apart. All I have to do is pull this panel out and I have access to all the wires. Yeah, it looks like a pile of spaghetti in there, but the fact is, is you have access to all the wires. Um, on this side, you have access to the water heater, the other side to the furnace. And, and one of the nice things is your uh, water pump is right here as well. So what we've done is we've already given you the hose so when you want to winterize yourself, all you'll have to do is get in here, flip the bypass, turn your pump on, uh, buy your gallons of antifreeze, and you can winterize your coach very, very easily. And this has to do with all that functionality that I was talking about. So obviously right next to this compartment is our tankless water heater. And this is a new feature for 2023. The great thing about this obviously is you get unlimited hot water. I may as well mention now that the Rogue Armored product has 158 gallons of fresh water capacity. So if you wanna take a little bit more time in the shower, you know you'll have the hot water for it and you'll know you have the amount of water to do it. One of the really cool features also about this while I'm outside about the uh, tankless water heater, you know in today's cars, you'll always see the, uh, uh, if it gets down below 37 degrees, a little light will flash on your dash that says, you know, warning ice conditions. Well, we have the same thing with this. There's no warning. What happens is when this gets uh, below 37 degrees, uh, there's a temperature sensor in this and it will actually uh, spark and a uh, little pilot type light will go on to make sure that any water in here won't freeze if you're not using it. So obviously this is the door side because here's your entry door. Uh, what you have is the more ride step above solid step system. So you have a real nice sturdy platform to go in and out of your, your trailer. Um, we use a black 
tempered glass door, which gives the coach a really cool look because of all the other black on it. So it is like a reflective black glass. And that really complements our solar reflective windows that are new for 2023 as well. Um, the great thing about the solar reflective window is not only does it keep your coach cooler, but it keeps the UV light from penetrating. About 98% of the UV is blocked, so you don't have to worry about a fade in the carpet if you're gonna keep the coach in the same place all the time. Uh, moving on back, uh, this is where your television would hook up. This is the, the receiver for the uh, outside TV. So your TV inside, you can use the same mount, bring it out, pop it right on here, be able to watch your, the game or the race out underneath the awning. Speaking of awnings, there's always two awnings on every Rogue Armored product. And you can see it starts up there, goes all the way to the back of the coach. You've got well over 30 feet of awning and entertainment space on this coach. As I back up here, speaking of entertainment, we have an outside, I like to call this an outside entertainment area as opposed to say an outside kitchen uh, because it doesn't have the standard grill or, or cooking platform or that type of a thing. What we've done is we've given you a quick connect here on the side if you want to have a gas grill. I mean, it's a toy hauler. You've got all that room back there. You can bring your grill from home, wheel it around and plug it right in here. What we've done though is we've kind of given you an outside entertainment area. So you have a refrigerator for your sodas or your beer and your condiments and that type of thing. You have an ice maker for the margaritas, a place to cut your limes, and you can see the trash can slides in here, a place to throw them away. So it becomes a real nice entertainment gathering kind of a place. Um, and let's keep going back here while I'll just keep moving. Uh, our tires and wheels, heavy duty, uh, you have two 7,000 pound axles on this. So interestingly enough, guys, your axle weight, which means the actual weight that's on this coach is around 10,000 pounds. So you basically have 14,000 pounds of capacity on a, a 10,000 pound base here. But what I do want to point out, folks, is these are Goodyear Endurance radial tires, made in America heavy duty tire. And here's the thing I want to point out about our, the, the, the endurance tire is the standard trailering tire that you have on most RVs has a speed rating of 65 miles an hour. And a lot of times you hear about people that blew a tire and the tire rips and tears out all your skirting and all this stuff and it becomes a big problem. Well, a lot of times people don't realize that they're probably going over 65, the tire overheats, the tire blows. The great thing about the Goodyear Endurance radial tire is it has an 87 mile an hour speed rating. Now, I'm not condoning going 87 miles an hour, but I am saying if you are gonna push it a little bit, you know you've got a tire that's gonna stand up to it. We give you an entry door into the garage, which is convenient, uh, for example, if, uh, you have friends that are staying and they get up earlier than you do and they want to come outside, they can come right out here. Uh, once again, it's a black glass tempered door. You can see the solar windows here. Uh, I want to point out the, the leash latch. We have a place here, instead of tying your, your dog to the steps, which can get all tangled up, we give you a place right here to uh, leash up the dog. And you'll notice our lawyers say, be sure to load your loved one before moving coach. Got to do that. You wouldn't want to drive off with a Rover tied onto the side. The back of the 371 is obviously all about the ramp, getting your toys in and out, and a great patio system. So right off the bat, we have a weatherproof ramp door, and this is actually an 84 inch door. So the important thing about that is it's longer. So with the dovetail in the back, you get a nice easy approach angle, but also at 84 inches when the door shuts, you also have the height for your taller, your golf carts, or if you have a raised uh, UTV or that type of thing, you know it's gonna fit. So the, the door itself has a 3000 pound capacity as a ramp, and then when we put it up and hook it onto the aircraft cables here, you have a 1,500 pound capacity to make it the back porch. So on the back, you're, you're gonna notice a couple of things here. One is this is a new option for 2023 that we have. These are the three season doors, which are uh, a real nice addition. So you've got a, a, a weather barrier. There is uh, tempered glass that's down right now. I can pull that up and uh, really block off the elements so you don't necessarily have to put your deck up at night. Also in the back, you'll see we give you two LED light bar bars to uh, see what you're doing back here. And then above that, 
uh, you'll see the Furion mount for the rear observation camera. Now this is also new for 2023. What we're doing is we're making it observation camera ready. So not only is it in the back, but this coach actually is, accommodates four cameras. This one in the back to see uh, behind you when you're backing up, but in the very front on the marker lights on both sides, you'll see mounts for the cameras there. So when you're going down the road and you wanna turn or that type of thing, you can look down the side of your coach and make sure you're not turning into somebody. And then the fourth camera is very conveniently located in the back. And uh, I don't even know if you can see this, I'm gonna come all the way up but it's all the way back here on the back wall. And the reason for that camera is, is if you have a, a precious bicycle, uh, uh, motorcycle or your Harley is back here and you hit some rough road and you're nervous about, ooh, is my bike okay? You can flip the switch on the monitor up front in your truck, be able to see your cargo, make sure it's nice and secure. On the off door or driver's side of the coach, on the rear side, you'll see we have our 30 gallon fuel station. One of the nice things about this 30 gallon fuel station is the obvious we have, this is where you're gonna fill your tank when you pull into the gas station. And this is where the nozzle is to fill the tank of your UTV or golf cart or motorcycle or whatever you have, right? But this is a new digital pump system. The nice thing about this is, is uh, in years past, Jen, you may remember if you have a toy hauler now, there was always a little door that you opened and a kind of a little floaty gauge to kind of tell you how much gas you had. The nice thing about this system is, is it's far more accurate. It reads more like your car. So one of the great things about this system is, as I turn it on here, um, there we go. I'm gonna turn the pump on so you'll actually hear the pump running and there you can hear the pump running. I'm, I would be pumping gas into my whatever vehicle it is. Now here's a new thing that we have with this digital system. And that is when I go to hit the off button, you'll hear a slight change in tone. Sounds just a little different. What that's doing is that's actually the pump working in reverse. Now it's sucking the gas from the nozzle back down into the tank. And you'll see it shuts off once that's done. When we set out to design the Rogue Armored product three years ago, one of the main things we wanted to do was make it the lightest weight luxury toy hauler on the market. So you did notice back when I was talking about the wheels and axles, there were only two, there weren't three like so many other lines out there. Um, and so some of the things that we did to make this product lighter was, uh, for example, to get rid of the heavy hydraulic systems that a lot of big toy haulers have. So instead of the hydraulic slide outs or that type of a thing, what we've done is we've gone to a lighter weight slide system. So for example, this has a lightweight cable slide system on it. One of the great things about the system is not only is it lighter in weight, but it comes with a manual override. And I'll talk about that when we're in the inside of the coach. So I mentioned the uh, lack of losing the hydraulics. One of the other things that we have is, is the Rogue Armored product comes with a six point automatic leveling system, but it's not a hydraulic system. So right inside your compartment is where you'll see, I'm gonna turn it on right now, and you'll see it says ready and jacks down, and that's because it's already auto leveled here for this demo that we've done, but that's where you're gonna work with the uh, uh, auto level to uh, raise and lower these types of things. I wanna move up to the next compartment because what I wanna talk about is what I think are, is a significant advantage to the uh, electric, the 12 volt motor system as opposed to the hydraulic. And that is the great thing about this system. So first of all, l let me give you the negative. I mean, if we're gonna, we're gonna you know, talk about it this way, um, the hydraulic system is a stronger and faster system. So it's, it'll, it'll automatically level faster. Uh, the uh, 12 volt electric system is a little slower, but the fact is, is you're pushing a button anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. What I like as a camper about this system is, uh, right now we have a little light on here so you can see this jack motor. This is actually the jack motor for the front. This motor is exactly the same motor as every other jack all the way around. So the great thing about this is, is you know, everybody's fear is it's uh, four o'clock on Sunday afternoon, time to go home, I've buttoned everything down and I go push the button for the auto level and for some reason, the back jack doesn't go up. 
and there's all kinds of overrides, and, and I really encourage you to look at the other video that we have uh, just on the six-point auto level. It's a great system. It's with Mike from Lippert. We do a lot of what-ifs, including how to get the back jacks up and that type of a thing. But for this video right now, what I like to talk about is, is if for whatever reason, the back jack just won't go up electronically or that type of thing. The great thing about this system is you'll see this little black rubber gasket right here. If I lift that up, there we go. Inside is the female end of a 3 8 inch socket set. So all I need to do is get a socket and I can ratchet it up, doesn't matter which one it is. The good news is with this system, I know I can always get home. Coming into the 371, the first thing I wanna point out is our control panel. Number one, it's right by the entry door. So when you come in, you can turn your lights on, you can do this type of thing. Uh, but what I wanna point out is you'll notice on our control panel, you'll see there's a uh, little Lippert One Control uh, SKU right here. This actually, uh, this unit is designed to work with the One Control phone app, which will work on your phone. But instead of having the systems that you see a lot of manufacturers use is the system where you have the, the control panel. And, and the problem with the control panel for me as a camper is I have to come in, I have to push a button to turn the control panel on. Then I got to push a button to say I want to turn a light on. Then I can finally hit a living room button to turn the lights on. The great thing about this system is, is I can turn lights on and off with this switch here or on my phone. The app will also do things like your slides and your awnings and these types of things as well. I encourage you to download the Lippert One Control app yourself once you've purchased your Rogue 371. Um, now, as we move on here, you'll see we've got this uh, front wall here with overhead cabinet uh, and also a fireplace, which is nice. So the 371 is actually uh, just a hair over 43 feet long. And one of the great things we have is, is not only do you get a 13-foot garage, which you'll see in a little bit, but you've got a living area that gives you, um, a, in the slide out, a sofa, which has heat and massage on the ends, and it gives you a dinette table. So on this side, we've given you the booth dinette, and we've left this area open so that if you need it, you can put a bench or you can get some bar stools or whatever you want and put on this table. Moving into the galley area, you see you have a great U-shaped galley here. Uh, point out the, the nice solid surface countertops, a big farm style sink. He won't have any trouble doing the dishes in this. And as I mentioned when I was outside, 158 gallons of fresh water. So you've got the capacity that you need. And, and while I'm talking about the uh, fresh water, I may as well tell you that you have uh, a 50 gallon gray tank and a 50 gallon black tank uh, up in the, the master bath. You have a 50 gallon gray tank for here. And then there's an additional 50 gallon black tank in the garage for the half bath that's back there. So you have 158 gallons of fresh water. You've got 100 gallons of gray and 100 gallons of black as well in this unit. So back to the galley, solid surface counters. You have your range and oven. Uh, over top, a nice 30-inch full-size residential microwave. Um, overhead cabinets here for lots of storage. You'll notice we raise this area up, so you've kind of got a two-area space. You can put your coffee maker or your crock pot or these types of things up above. Uh, and one of the nice things about doing that is we give you all the extra outlets. And look at all the USB ports that are throughout this because everybody's charging something all the time. In the slide out, is a uh, the big feature really that you really notice when you walk in is the 16.2 cubic foot uh, residential style refrigerator. Now folks, this is actually a 12 volt refrigerator. It's not electric. So the nice thing about this is, is it basically runs off your batteries all the time. And if you're plugged in, of course your batteries, it runs through the converter for 12 volt system. But what you have is a, is a, a uh, double door refrigerator up above and then we have two drawers for freezer so you can get as much as ice cream as you want while you're camping now while we're talking about the refrigerator and the 12 volt i want to point out that the rogue armored comes standard with a 100 watt solar system uh, which is a 100 watt solar panel a controller 
the uh, voltage meter and a 27 series battery. And then we have an option for an additional 100 watt panel. And odds are your dealer has opted that. I, I think virtually every dealer in the country has, has the 200 watt system. So you should see when, when you're looking at your dealer at the one that's there, uh, probably has a 200 watt system. If you put that together with two 27 series batteries, you should be able to run this refrigerator all week long with no problems at all. Then we have a third solar option, which is our PowerMax uh, solar option, which is the 200 watts of power, but then you also get a 2000 watt inverter and five outlets throughout the coach, in the bedroom, in the master bath, here in this area, in the garage, and outside. So it gives you the opportunity that if you're truly dry camping, you can actually have an inverter and have electricity uh, for your crock pot or your Instapot or whatever that is. Um, the other thing I want to mention about the whole solar thing is our controller is designed for up to 500 watts. So we give you 200, but if you want to add another 100 or 200 watt panels, you can daisy chain them together. It's very simple for you to do. You can have your dealer do it, or you can do it yourself. Um, and that controller will work up to 500 watts, which is a lot of wattage that you'll have uh, for the solar system. Enough about that, let's get back to the kitchen. So next to your refrigerator is a nice big pantry. Um, I'll turn the light on here. You can even see what you got, so you can store everything you need. Uh, once again, this is designed to go out in the middle of nowhere for a week or two, and shoot, you can take all the groceries you need. The window treatments on the Rogue Armored product feature uh, the Zebra Shade, which is a really cool feature. So you can have, first of all, you see a really nice big window here. You're gonna let a, sun, a lot of sunlight in, um, but if I want less light, I can pull this down um, and now we can adjust it. I can do it this way, I can take a little bit of light or I can do completely black out. So you've got blackout privacy or light or have them open. And what we've done is basically eliminated those pleated shades with the strings that are always such a pain in the rear. This is a much better system. Now let's head up to the master bedroom suite. So as we come up the stairs, uh, first thing is, is uh, well, first, here's your slide switch. So because the slide out is in the hallway, we're gonna put the switch right here so you put the slide out um, so you can get up into the bedroom. And then here is the door into the master bath. So as we come into the master bath, um, the first thing we'll notice is the nice big uh, shower with the glass surround. And I encourage you to take a look at our spa shower nozzle system. So you've got the, the regular shower head, you have a handheld, and you've got a couple of spa, spa sprayers on there. You can basically wash everything at once. Um, is we've uh, set a sink down in. It used to be we had a pedestal sink here, and uh, one of the things we've done is put a sink down into the countertop so that it gives you more storage space around for your toothbrushes and that type of thing. Porcelain foot flush toilet, and then a linen cabinet. So you have a place for your bath towels and this type of thing. So on the outside of the coach, I mentioned the tankless hot water heater. On the inside, I wanna talk about it again because up here in the lavvy is actually where the control panel for the water heater is. So one of the cool things about this tankless system is you can actually set the temperature. So if I know what temperature I like my shower to be, so for example, let's say I like 96 degrees. Now understand that like 102 is really hot. If you're in a hot tub and you're in the hundreds, it's a really hot tub. So when you take a shower, we generally take it in the 90s. So let's say I like a 96 degree shower. One of the things I can do is I can come right to this control panel and you can see right now it says 115 degrees. I'm gonna drop this down to 96 real quick. There we go, 96 degrees. Now I have it set. All I have to do is get in the shower and just turn the hot water on and give it about 10 seconds and I'll have a perfect 96 degree shower. The master bedroom features a king-size bed. Now, when I say king-size bed, just so we understand, a queen bed is 60 inches wide by 80 inches long, and a standard king bed is 76 inches wide by 80 inches long. Because we're in an RV and we need a little bit more room, this is actually 72 inches wide. So it's a pretty big bed, so we, let's call it an RV king. But you'll also notice that the head of the bed is up. That's because we have a uh, adjustable, 
power bed. So I can pop this down to sleep. We can pop it up to read or watch TV or, you know, if he's snoring at night, she can push the button, raise him up, shut him up a little bit. Um, great feature. Then you'll notice also with the lighting, right now these lights are blue. So if you want to read or, or do something and your partner's sleeping, you can just turn the blue on. If you want more light, I hit it one more time and you'll see it goes to a brighter white and that'll turn it off. In the bedroom, you'll notice we have USB ports and outlets on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine or you want to charge your phones, you can do that. And then on the off door side here, you'll notice is the slide out, which is basically a full wardrobe uh, storage area. Uh, you've got two, four, six, and two drawers here in the nightstand. We've actually got eight drawers in this bedroom. You've got your shirt ward here, and then on the hall, on the other side of the door, is actually a full length wardrobe as well for larger coats or dresses or this type of thing. Now, folks, while I'm up here in the bedroom, I want to talk a little bit about our air conditioning system. The Rogue Armored comes with two air conditioners standard. And, and uh, if you're a fifth wheel owner today, you'll know that most of the time, the first air conditioner is in the living area. And then there's a second air up here in the bedroom that is usually a just blow in the bedroom air. Well, what we've done with the Rogue Armored product is we have what we call the Super H duct system, where we put one air conditioner up here in the bedroom, and then our second air conditioner is back in the garage and we duct them together. So uh, what happens is, is when both air conditioners are blowing, what we can do is uh, on the air, as you guys know, there's what we call these dump valves. So right now these are shut. If I open them, that's gonna blow the air here. Air is like water. It's gonna take a path of least resistance. So when these are open, the air is gonna blow here, right? If I shut these, that's gonna force the air to go through the duct work. I can even shut the ducts here in the bedroom. Now that air, is gonna be forced back into the living area. So we do that in the garage and the bedroom. And what that does is that blows all the cool air into your living area, keeps you cool. And then at night when you go to bed, where do you go? You go to the front of the coach and you go to the back of the coach. So I come up here, I open one of these dump valves, I keep this area nice and cool. The people in the garage can do the same thing. They're gonna stay nice and cool because they have a separate air back there. In the living room, who cares? You can't sleep in the living room. I'm coming through the vapor barrier door uh, into the garage. First thing is, is look at the size of the door. It's a nice big door. A lot of RVs, uh, toy haulers, you get those little doors that go in or it's a sliding door. The nice thing about this vapor barrier door here is not only is it a vapor barrier door, but it's a sound barrier door. It really reduces the sound if someone wants to sleep back here and someone else wants to stay in the living area and watch television, works really well. So the garage itself is 13 feet from the wall all the way to the ramp door. So it'll fit virtually uh, all UTVs. So a part of this then is number one, we have the washer dryer hookup right here. We don't put it up in the, in the nose of the coach where it takes up your valuable clothing storage area. We're gonna put it back here for those people who really want a washer dryer, you've got it. We have a half bath back here and you can see this half bath has the collapsible wall. So the idea is, is obviously we have privacy if we want it as a bath, but to store your toys, what happens is this wall collapses over. There's straps here to hold it open, All right? Now I can even open this wall up here. So what you've got is basically you can use all 13 linear feet of this storage area. From the wall over to this toilet, is actually 74 inches, so it really fits almost all UTVs with this giant space. Now, speaking of the UTVs, uh, you're gonna have a, a pretty big uh, item back here. So we give you 3,000 pounds of carrying capacity in the back, and then we give you 5,000 pound tie downs, and you can see the tie downs here. Each one of these is rated 5,000 pounds, and each tie down is actually attached through to the chassis, not just into the wood floor, but actually through to the chassis. Speaking of the wood floor, this wood floor is actually one inch thick back here, which is generally much thicker floor than you'll see on most toy haulers. The flooring material on top of the wood is called Durapoxy. And what that is, is it's a composite flooring system that is oil and gas resistant. We like this better than the diamond plate. We think it gives it a nicer residential look. And quite honestly, guys, it's easier to clean than that black diamond plate. The optional aluminum steps for the back patio 
fold up and hook right here on the side so they're out of the way. Uh, as you know, a lot of times you just get those big, heavy, clunky steps and they're, they're, they're just in the way, so most people don't even want the steps. The nice thing with this system is, is it folds up out of the way here so you still have all the room for your toys. We give you a loft bed in the back. Now, one of the things that you'll notice about the Rogue product is, is that a lot of manufacturers, the access to this bed is actually inside in the living area. And there's a hole here where you climb into, and then this is a solid wall. Well, we don't really like that because especially if you have kids, if I want to put my kids to bed and I want to stay up and watch TV, the problem with the ones with the holes there is, is the TV's over here, I put my kids to bed, they're just going to be looking through the hole, watching TV along with you. With this setup, you've got the, the sound barrier door, I can put them to bed here, shut the door, they have privacy. The other nice thing is, is uh, what we've done is we've given you access for the ladder but we have this nice logo rogue here. It's a little bit more open. It doesn't feel so enclosed as the other type. As I mentioned outside, uh, this unit features the optional three season door. So here on the inside, you can kind of see how it works. You just, we can just put it together. If you want privacy, you can actually uh, lock it together here like this. Um, really is a, a nice feature for privacy and uh, weather. If I want to open it up, because people ask, well, how does the wall work? You'll see right here, there's just a little, latch that I hook or unhook right here. I give that a tug, unlatch it, and you can see how it opens so that now I can drive my toys in. Then when the toys are in, I just pop this back, shut it like that, I shut the doors, and we've got our privacy. So one of the really great features about the Rogue and Rogue Armored product is our rear bed system. We do not use the power bed system known as the Happy Jack that so many other manufacturers use. Um, we just find that a motorized system is, is one more thing that can go wrong while you're camping. And as I talked about us being the most functional, practical, durable product out there, this falls under that practicality. So uh, we uh, came up with this system about three or four years ago. We call it the Quick Set Bed System. And it is a manual system, but it's a very easy to use system. As you can see, all I do is pull down on this side, I give this a tug, and boom, your bed is down and ready to go. The nice thing about the system is it is a strut assist, just like the, the hood of your car or the trunk. So all I have to do is give this a push. It's very easy to do. And you'll see this, the, basically the struts take over. There's the, the front and now the back. I'm just gonna give that a little push as well. And up it goes. Really simple, really easy to use, actually really fast compared to the Happy Jack as well. And the cool thing is, once again, what can go wrong? Well, the only thing that can fail is a strut, and I can go to any auto parts store right now and buy one of these struts and fix it. Makes it very, very convenient. Then the beds, you'll see, they flip up against the wall. I'm not gonna bother putting them down. It's a rollover sofa system. Uh, you guys are familiar with that. Uh, what it does is gives you all the nice space like this so you can bring your toys in, flip it up, flip it down, make it into the opposing sofas, and there is a table that goes in between. Designed to be the lightest weight luxury toy hauler on the market, the Rogue Armored 371A13 is your choice for luxury and lightweight towing all your toys. If you need more information, contact us at www.forestriverinc.com rogue.